Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 15 the show Road the show with Theo Bonds this is episode 112 and this is the final series of the season as you see the White Sox 58 and 100 yeah for the season they are dead last in the American League and also in the American League Central as we're just a game behind the Royals there you see a 74 and 84 record and we're gonna try to see if we can win these last four games here to have a shot at the American League Central title now there's a lot of scenarios coming into play here now if we win three out of the four and the Royals win or lose three out of the four we'll be currently tied we'll be end up being I believe tied with them for the Central Division and then we'll have to play a one game playoff to see who wins the Central and that's basically a, you know win or go home type of situation here now, if we win all four games and the Royals win, lose three out of the four against the uh, Indians, then we'll have a one-game lead, and we will be the Central Div uh, Central Division winners. Uh, now, of course, there's you know another scenario if we lose all four, we'll, basically we'll be out. And if the Royals will lose all four, uh, then we'll might we may have an opportunity here. So there's a lot of scenarios. I don't want to get into all of them, but uh, we we got to try to avoid. Uh, try to lose any of these games and also we have to try to avoid uh, the Twins and the Indians possibly sneaking up there and taking the division lead as there you see here they're just two games uh, there's a half a game in between them but there's uh, a game and a half between us and the Twins and just a game between us and the Indians so it's pretty much winner to anyone can take it uh, with the exception of the White Sox so we'll take a look here these are the current um, numbers right now for the MVP award right now bonds looking like he could possibly win that award uh, depending on how well he plays in this kind of upcoming series here you see of course Miguel Cabrera up for the batting title and there you see bonds just right behind there behind him with the batting title. he's only what 2,500 of a per, uh, percentage points there of getting that so uh, pretty good showing here for both guys here and we need both guys really to step up their play here in this uh, four-game series here against the White Sox. So, uh, like I said, there's a lot on the line here, not just for the team, but also, uh, as you see here, um, you know, some uh, some uh, individual awards here. And, you know, we because, you know, last this is his third year uh, with the... Tigers here in all three years well, out now so far all two years now I don't want to get ahead of myself here no, hopefully that won't be the case but so far the first two years of his uh, career here he's been a game or a game and a half shy of getting to the playoffs so we're going to try to see if we can break that and try to get into the playoffs this year uh, with our team here so we got to be as a team we have to come together as a team and play well here as you take a look here at some of these Silver Slugger awards here and a possible guys that could win them here in uh, the different uh, position players on uh, the on the American League here but there you see Bonds he's up for uh, possibly a Silver Slugger for third base there and uh, a couple other positions there that are uh, there you see some other players there could be up for some Silver Slugger awards but when it comes down to it, we have to win this series here against the White Sox. So here we are at the cell here. There you see are their records there for both squads here. And it's a packed house here as the uh, they want to see what Bonds can do here. Now, Bonds, 50 home runs for the season here. Top of the first here with one on first, one out. Bonds is this one high and deep down the right field line there. That one is, it looks like it's going to go uh, foul, but it ends up getting caught there near the right side of the field there. Nice job there as that one gets taken away there and that's one away there you see Lugo and Shuffer get in there and gets that ball right there before it goes against that hits against that wall there so that's an out for Bonds now top of the fourth here 2-2 pitch here for Bonds and yeah he's gonna go after that one that's inside there on that slider there and good call there from Flowers there on Bonds there to get the second uh, or the next or uh, get him out there and retired him there in this at bat, so Hap, AJ Hap or, or J A Hap is doing a great job here. Over two now here for Bonds. He struck out and flied out here in the ball game. Nobody on board and two outs here. That's a one. To, that's a one to two uh, pitch there, and that's gonna be a drop third strike. 
and that's going to be a five pitch at bat there that he tried against Hap and could not connect. Now, top of the eighth here, uh, Renobo runners on board and two outs, and we'll see here again Bonds trying to get almost out outran that play there as Alexi Ramirez gets there on time and makes the play. As you see here, Tigers win this, or yeah, Tigers win this one three to one there. Just a runner, our 17th win of the year there for him. And now we're tied up with the Royals now, both at 75 and 84. So we're currently tied with the Royals here. Now we need a win. we got to hope and pray that the Royals will lose against the Indians. So top of the first here, nobody on board, two outs. We'll see a one-two pitch here for Bonds, and Bonds smacks this one out there. He's finding a gapper out there. Nice job, and that's going to uh, actually jump over the fence there. And that's going to be an, uh, a uh, ground rule double there. As we'll see here, the replay. Bonds looks at that one. I almost thought that one was out of the park, but no, it bounces right in front of the uh, fence there and hops over. So Bonds here, take a look here. He's going to try to take off and run here, and he gets caught still in there. Ah, that's not what we want to see from our guy here as Bond gets caught still in there. And no score after the first. Now top of the third here. 3-1 is the score here, as we'll see here. Bonds connects with this one, but this one's going to stay in the ballpark. That one's a high fly ball out there to right, and that's going to be a nice catch there. Routine catch there, no problem there. And there you see, you got solid contact there, but just not enough to get that one out of the ballpark there, as you see here. Now we'll take a look here on Alexis Ramirez here. Now we're going to see some defense here. Full count for Alexi as he has a full count here. Runner on first here. And try to see if we can get a double play here. We'll see what Bonds can do with his glove here today on defense. As they're up by two here in the third. And we'll see here. It's going to be a fastball here. So hopefully we can get this one and turn two. Bonds grabs this one. Throws the second. Throws the first. Nice job there. Turning a double play there. And that right there retires two, two birds with one stone there in the bottom of third. Now top of the fifth here. 3-1, still the score here with the runner on first here. 1-0 pitch here, and Bonds hits this one again. Hit this one shallow to right, uh, left center field there. That's going to get him a double. That's going to score a run here. Now makes it now 4-1 here. White so or should say the Tigers lead this one here. As you see here, Bonds at second base here. Hopefully that he will not get the sign to, uh, to steal here. As we'll take a look here. Nice even swing there. Gets that one right over the head of the shortstop there to get the double. So, 0 1 pitch now here. And we'll see here, runner. Gonna take off here, and Bonds does. And Bonds gets down there, and he gets the sale. He steals third. Nice job there for Bonds. As we'll take a look here, and Hamble thought he had that one on the runner there, but unfortunately. That one does not get a hold of Bonds there, and he'll be at third. So there you see a full count now here, and that one, nope, that one will be a strikeout there as the batter there cannot hold on that one. So Kevin's now going to be up the bat here, as we'll see here, 0-2 day for him with two strikeouts here, one uh, old pitch here. That one gets squeaked up the middle there. Nice job. Bonds comes in for the run there, makes it now 5-1 to one here in the ball game here. As Kevin hits a base hit there on that play. We'll take a look here at the replay. And, yeah, just a, does a great job hitting this one and hitting it right up, back up the middle there, past the pitcher there, and in through the infield. So 5-2 now, top of the six here. Two runners out. And we'll serve uh, two, uh, two out now. Not two runners out, but two out. And there you see they try to get Bonds there. They had a... Good job there to try to throw him out with the pitch, or I should say the catcher, overthrows that one, and that's going to be an error there. Bonds will get on board there by way of the error, and he will be at first base. So, top of the six now here. Winners up to bat here. He struck out last time, and we'll see here. Bonds tries to take off, but oh, he gets snagged there, gets picked off, and that will be the end of the inning there as the Tigers lead this one 5-2. to two. Now 6-2 now. Tigers lead this one by 3 Top of the eighth here, this one goes high and deep out to right center field there. And the right fielder makes a nice catch there. And that will be a routine play, and that will be the inning. And the Tigers win this one, a final score of 6-3 to three there. 
There you see Max Scherzer get his ninth win of the year. And there you see, again, we're still tied with the Royals. There is 76 and 84 for this season. As you see, the uh, Indians and Twins are both at two games apiece. Or, or behind us, two games apiece. And now, it's, this, this is going to become a tight race. So now we go to game three here. We'll see what Bonds can do here. As we'll see here, top of the first here. And with two outs, nobody on board here. A 2-2 pitch here for Bonds. He chops this one right there in front of the pitcher there. And no problem there for the pitcher there as he gets the out. And there you see here, we're going to be facing Sales. And Sales is a tough guy to go against, especially with Bonds here. Bonds had a, has had a tough career so far with against Chris Sales. But there you see Bonds. He gets a base. Or actually, no, he gets a double there. Nice job. And he's able to get the... Uh, Runner, lead runner there at third. So now they got runners at second and third now. As we we'll take a look here at the replay, nice job ripping that one past the infield. Williams couldn't get a hold of that one, and now Bonds is going to be in scoring position. So later on in, the, in that same inning, there Bonds is at third here, and he, you'll see here uh, winners. He'll strike out there and leave Bonds stranded there at third. So now Tigers lead it by one here at the top of the fifth here with a runner on first. Two outs here, Bonds up to bat, and he will hit this one. That's going to be a routine play there to second, who gets him out there as a break. Makes the catch there at first and gets Bonds out. Now top of the seventh here, one on board here at third and two outs. Bonds skies this one out to deep center field there. That's going to be an easy play there for the center fielder, and that's going to retire Bonds there on that play. So Royal or Tigers still lead it by one or an out by two now here after seven. Now, 4-3 to three now, up by a run here, top of the ninth here. One out with a runner on board here. A 1-0 pitch here for Bonds. And again, Bonds finds a pitch but gets underneath this one. This one is going to go out to uh, right center field there. Right fielder makes a play, and the runner cannot advance. So, holding on to this one-run lead there. The Tigers end up scraping up another uh, a couple more runs there and win this one six to four there final score and it spawns one for five for the day there in that game and gets that double so we'll see here we are still tied with the Royals there 77 and 84 it's going to come down to this very last game You're literally the last game now what really irks me is it's the last game and they put Bonds in a pitch hit situation why would you do that you have a get you're tied up with the Royals right now. You need your power hitter here. So he gets one at bat here. He hits this one high and deep. Is this gonna be enough to go out of the ballpark? No. It gets caught by the center fielder there, and that's the only at bat he will get for the day. And we'll have to see what the Tigers can do here as they are down by a run here. Now, this is gonna make or break us because if we do not win this game, we gotta hope and pray that the Royals lose their game. I see there White Sox are now two nothing now. And we'll see if we can end this inning. Yes, we do, but we still got a lot of work to do here. As Cabrera couldn't do anything. And we'll take a look here and see. We lose this game. Two to nothing. Final score. Bonds 0 for 1 for the day. And we'll take a look at the standings and look and see. The Royals win the last game of the se of the season there. 78 and 84. They are the divisional winners. And look again, we are sitting there looking, scratch, scratching to our, scratching our heads thinking, what just happened? Again, one game away from going to the postseason, and this happens. What was the coaching staff thinking? What was the manager thinking? Honestly, I think the manager needs to get fired. And so does Bonds. Talking to him after the game, he was very upset, didn't want to say too much. All he said was, next year, it better be our year. So... Tigers one game away from going to the playoffs and the Royals take the lead just by a game and there you see 77 and 84 and there you see unfortunately it wasn't good enough to make the postseason better luck next season so Bonds and the Tigers have a lot of work to look at over the offseason now take a look here at MVP award look who gets the MVP Miguel Cabrera 355 average, 49 home runs, and 140 RBIs there. He wins the MVP award there. You see Cy Young Award, of course, going to the, uh, well, of course, uh, no, now he's not with Tampa Bay anymore, but uh, he wins that one. Miguel wins the Hank Aaron Award there. 
David Price, there you see a Golden Glove there. So yeah, he's won two awards now. And we'll see here if Bond's name is shown up here anywhere winning an award here. Hopefully maybe a batting title or something. Or maybe even a silver slugger. I don't know. Never mind. He won't win the batting title. But he will win the silver slugger there. So nice job. He has. He'll win the silver slugger. There you see Evan Goria has won in the last two years straight. And Bonds has now stopped that here as he wins a silver slugger award. So we'll take a look here. And there you see 50 home runs, 144 RBIs. Uh, and uh, he's uh, got one, you know he's in the top five there in a lot of these categories here. And it's just a shame that Bonds couldn't win the MVP award. I mean, he, yeah, he did struggle there towards the last couple of uh, episodes here. But overall, overall makeup of his career, uh, so far this year, he honestly should have won the MVP award. But fortunately, does not. So he's not a two-time MVP award winner, or back, at least back-to-back -back winner, as we would want him to be. But, hey, you know what? We'll have to see what he can do next season. Hopefully... With the offseason, he'll have that fire in his belly and ready to go for himself here. As you see, the Cardinals defeat the Rays in the 2016 World Series. Cardinals are the current World Series champion. So, it's kind of weird that that happened because, you know, at one time, Bonds was a part of the Cardinals organization in another, you know, in, in uh, another series of mine. But, it's kind of weird that they went in and... He's struggling right now. He's been asking for trades all season long. Maybe he'll get lucky and be part of a team that he wants to be with next year. Hmm. So, with that being said, we'll take a look here at the retirees for Major League Baseball. There you see some notable names there. You see CeCe Sabathia, Mark Teixeira, a couple others. Who else? You got uh, uh, Scott Downs, and you got Nick Swisher, and A.J. Pazinski, and Kyle Farnsworth. Uh, a couple of Coco Crisp. Uh, so you got a lot of names there. Some uh, you know names that your household names there. You see Ryan uh, Howard there. You see him retiring at the age of 37. Wow. I didn't think he was that old, but okay. So if Howard's gone. So Bonds now has some. You know he's still a couple of years away from uh, being a uh, retire or a uh, a uh, what we call a free agent to say to really shop around, shop himself around uh, for other teams but there you see he's got a one-year offer there from the Tigers there you see 1.1 million dollars there and of course uh, you know he can't really ask for any more uh, so he's just yeah go ahead and just he's got I believe he's just going to go ahead and accept it but you know this ball club has to really get things going we have to get our for one get our starting pitching going as Mark uh, as uh, Scherzer a couple other guys there were just not playing up to par here this season, especially after the All-Star break there. Just wasn't playing the All-Star uh, caliber uh, way they, they that we know them as. So, uh, starting pitch is going to be very important. Also, to uh, you know, base running, maybe cut back on stealing there for Bonds, maybe. Hmm? And also, uh, get a bullpen. We need a solid bullpen to help us out here in game especially when we have tight games and we have a run you know two or three or you know anywhere from a three to a one game or one run lead we need to have a, a bullpen that can go in there and uh, take over and, and win the games for us so hopefully that's something that the uh, ball club has worked on over the off season. but there you see there uh, this is actually uh, the uh, spring training there uh, spring training game but when we come back in the next episode, we'll actually take a hiatus from Bonds here for a while. Uh, but when he come back in episode 113, it will be opening day. And we'll see what he can do here in the 2017 series, uh, season here for the Tigers. What, of all the things I've just mentioned, what are some of the things you guys think he that the team needs to work on or maybe he needs to work on? And we'll see uh, if, they, if they can finally get to the playoffs here and win. Uh, some playoff games here and get a World Series back to uh, Detroit. We'll have to see. So, thank you guys so much for watching uh, and thank you guys so much for uh, subscribing to the channel. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Not to mention, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscription button and check out more of this road to show here with Theo Bonds. Like I said, we're going to take a quick hiatus with him and maybe work on, uh, maybe bring back another road to show character for a while here. And, uh, 
see what we can do with uh, with another Roadshow character. But that is it for for Roadshow for Theo Bonds right now. He'll come back. Don't worry, he'll come back. But we'll have to take a little hiatus. Thank you guys so much. And as always, keep such a healthy. And I will see you guys next time.